I always feel like I have to say something before I jump into the my spiel that I do every time like the hey you guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know me but I got nothing today head empty not a thought in sight uh yeah hey you guys welcome back to my channel um if you don't know me my name is Ellie I am an art teacher illustrator and Christian sometimes I make YouTube videos about those things here's my Instagram handle um I am significantly more consistent at posting, uploading on Instagram. If you want to keep up with me, that's the place to do it. Um, I also have a shop. I'll throw some things on the screen that are available in my shop at the time of me posting this. And yeah, if they tickle your fancy, then by all means, my brothers and sisters in Christ, have at it. Uh, link is in the description to my shop. Welcome to studio vlog number six. Some of the projects in this vlog might be familiar to you if you've been keeping up with my vlogs or keeping up with me on Instagram. Um, first one being, I finally finished the Flight of the Bumble Bear, which is that illustration I started in like studio vlog number two, something like that. Um, at the time of me filming this, I finished it like a month ago. Uh, but yeah, you'll get to see me add the very satisfying colored pencil textures and details to that one. Um, fairy stickers. Fairy stickers have all arrived. They're done. Um, so you get to see those stickers in their final form, as well as some uh, sticker photo shoots for my shop. Very exciting stuff. I did a collab with my friend Regan uh, for her YouTube channel, but I, you know, I got my B-roll. I filmed some footage while we were filming for her channel, so You'll get to see that as well as the art piece that I created for her YouTube video. Um, I'll pin a comment down below with the link to her video whenever it comes out. Um, I know it's not coming out before I post this vlog, so maybe come back to check. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this vlog. I hope it's beefy. I hope it fills you with beef. Um, yeah, enjoy this satisfying colored pencil demonstration <laughs> on the flight of the Bumble Bear. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, gosh. <gasps> you guys, you just so happened to join me at a very exciting moment. I'm so glad you showed up when you did. Thanks for being here. For those of you who have not been keeping up with the very long journey of this sticker series specifically, um, I have been working on a series of fairy stickers for a for months. Too long, too long. Um, I'll throw a picture of the designs up on the screen. It's a series of just three fairy stickers, little five-legged fairies. There have been a lot of things that have gotten in the way of me completing this set of fairy stickers. The most recent obstacle being that I went ahead and placed the full order of the Celestial Fairy, um, and I accidentally got them in glossy instead of matte, which sucked just a little bit. Um, and so I had to reorder them in matte, and then I also went ahead and ordered uh, the Wildflower Fairy sticker in bulk, and I'm praying I did this order correctly. And we're about to find out because behind these walls, or not walls, uh, behind this, um, what? Parcel, that's what it says on here. Behind this parcel uh, is the full order of the Celestial Fairy stickers and the Wildflower Fairy. <laughs> you get the idea. Um, I already have the full set of the Heart Fairy done. So hopefully, this is the end of this journey. And then this week I can get to photographing these guys and putting them up in my store. Oh, they look good. Sorry. Oh, oh my stars and stripes. There are so many of them. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I love that they are in two different styles of packaging. Like this one is an array on full display. This is just a fat stack. Shall we open the fat stack first? Oh, the sweet celestial fairy. I loved the way the glossy ones turned out for the celestial fairy, but the other fairies in this series, there she is. The other fairies in this series are matte, and so I wanted them all to be matte. So when I put this guy up on my website, I will have both options available, um, but if you order the set of fairy stickers, then they will be matte. Oh, but she turned out so, so delightful, so celestial, so stunning, so brave, so courageous. And this one, if you will let me get in there. Oh, she turned out so cute. They're a little bit curvy. She's a little bit curvy, if you know what I mean. I'm realizing this lighting is absolute trash <laughs> for showing you up close shots of these stickers, so I'll probably film some shots of them, uh, which you're probably already seeing those because editing Ellie is just so on top of her editing game. Oh my goodness. All right, they turned out perfect. I want to see them all lined up with one another now. Where are you, little heart stickers? All right, let's see these guys all lined up. Oh my goodness. They are so cute, they are so sweet. I love my daughters and I love them all equally. Um, I'm not sure when these will be available in the shop ASAP. I just don't know when ASAP is. So I'm gonna work every day a little bit to get this part of the shop up and running. Um, in the meantime, I'll throw some things on the screen that are available in my shop right this very second, you guys. Um, lots of Wild West little stuff. So yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, um, what do I have to do now? I don't know, let me look at my planner. There's a couple things on my to-do list that are kind of urgent things that need to get done today. Um, one is just that I had an Etsy order come in today, so I need to fulfill that. And then I'm also doing a collab of sorts with my friend Regan. Um, her Instagram is Oregano's Originals and her YouTube channel is Oregano's Originals. And so we're gonna be doing a little 
collab where we're gonna be filming a video together for her channel. And then she'll be appearing in one of my vlogs, either this one or the next one, I'm not quite sure. Um, and we're doing an, how do I explain it? It's not an art style swap, but we're each giving one another a color wheel that matches the colors that I'm already regretting the way I'm explaining this. Rewind, I'm starting over. Reagan and I are both illustrators and we both do mostly cutesy, sweet illustrations. Um, but that is about where our similarities end <laughs> with our illustration styles. Like we both have very different color palettes that we use. Our style is pretty different. The saturation is really different. The textures are different. And so we thought it would be fun if we kind of swapped color palettes and subject matter. Because our subject matter, while we do both gravitate toward cuter, sweeter um, things to draw, we do, cuteness and sweetness just looks different for me and Regan. And so what we're doing is I'm making a color wheel uh, of all the different shades of red, orange, yellow, etc. that I typically, typically, <laughs> that I typically use in my illustrations. And then I'm also making her a list with a couple items on it that make a regular appearance in my illustrations. Um, so like one of those items for me is probably going to be mushrooms just because I feel like it's a habit that I throw in a mushroom into every single one of my projects. Um, and then also a smaller list of just other things, common, common traits that my illustrations tend to share. Um, one of those could be, gosh, I'm trying to think about what my own illustrations look like. I don't know, I can't think of things that I'm gonna put on that list. Um, you'll see me come up with the list. Um, yeah, and then Regan is also making a color wheel um, of colors that she normally uses, as well as a list for me of things that typically appear within her pieces. And then we're going to swap the color wheel and the lists, color wheels and the lists. And then I'm going to create a piece in my style, so like using my textures, my everything, um, but using the subjects, the subjects, the items within her list, and using her colors. So it's gonna be a fun little, a little switcheroo. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. And then on Thursday, it is Tuesday right now, I'm gonna go over to her apartment and we're gonna film together while we work on the pieces, which I'm excited about, because it's been a while since Regan and I have just like sat down together and made some art. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Etsy order. Uh, rainbow circle, what's that called? Color wheel, and lists. <laughs> All right, so, oops, <laughs> oopsie poopsie. Uh, I forgot to film the process of me making the color wheel and my list of major elements that appear in my pieces and minor elements that appear in my pieces. But frankly, it would not have been interesting to film anyway. So this is what it is. Uh, Yep, um, I have my color wheel, it's on my phone. That's why I keep looking down. Uh, I made my color wheel of all of the shades of the color wheel colors that I typically use. Um, they lean very warm. I didn't realize how warm my general color palette is for my pieces, but it's quite toasty. And then I listed my major elements, mushrooms. Are we surprised in the least? Um, mushrooms always in my pieces. Mushrooms always. Yeah, that's good grammar, good English. Uh, little kiddos. I'm always including kids in my pieces. I'm looking at my wall because they're hanging up there right now. Um, the children are hanging on my walls. And then for minor elements, okay, this is where I started to feel like I, like I don't know who I am as an artist. <laughs> I think my style is pretty consistent, but when it came time to list the minor elements, I was like, like, I had no idea what to put. So, this is what I came up with. Uh, round leaves. I just feel like I do that a lot. I like to do, like, loopy 
loopy leaves. So I put that. Um, wiggly shaped edges. A lot of my pieces are vignette style illustrations. So they kind of float in the middle of the paper. And the general shape of the illustration has a wiggly edge. So that's something. Um, yeah, stars and sparkles. All of my pieces are nice and star spangled. Or at least some of them are. Very few, actually. But like I said, I was coming up dry with this. And then for the last one, I put North American Wildlife. Only because two of my most recent pieces, one had a bison and one had a bear. And I was like, would you look at that? North American Wildlife. So, yep. That's mine. That was the best I could do. So hopefully that gives Regan uh, something to work with to make her art piece. But yeah. Let me show you the one that Regan gave to me. So this is the one that Regan gave to me. Um, very different from mine. Colors that I don't use at all. So this will be interesting. Elements, unicorns, ice cream, of course. Uh, minor elements. Chunky stars, rainbows, drizzles, and big eyes. So the only thing that Regan and I have in common is I like to draw my eyes nice and big as well. And then stars. We both have star spangled pieces. Um, and then our colors are radically different. She's very <sighs> Regan-ish. I don't know how to describe it. So I've already done my sketch using these elements and these colors that Regan gave me. Um, I decided to do a unicorn carousel horse, except it's not a carousel horse, it's a carousel unicorn. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably showing the sketching process on the screen. If I remember to film it, did I? I don't know, you'll find out right now. Um, yeah, and then I'll show you my color study. <laughs> Excuse me. And then uh, you'll get to see some vlog footage of me and Regan filming the coloring process for, oh gosh. Sorry, filming the coloring process for our illustrations for her YouTube video on her channel. Okay, the sketch is probably done by now. So we'll go ahead and we'll just get straight into it, into the vlog footage. All right, I don't know how to end this segment. So I'm just gonna Yeah, so if you need a taller chair, um, we, we can get taller chairs. A booster seat? Yeah. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, that's cool. I wish I had that. Had what? Uh, so oh, I could see iPad. what I was filming. I recommend this camera. It's it's not like a newer one, but it's it's pretty decent. It can only for the first two minutes of school just to take Wait. a picture of me at my desk. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I yes. literally just realized I do have that too. <laughs> this would have been so oh, helpful. Oh my gosh. Do um, you look good enough? Should I? I look great. Until the spice on you. Hello, it's Regno here to spice up your imagination. <laughs> Shall we? Let's see. Okay, so what is the first step then?
of environment, let's talk about environment. Many of the work between the day and the day. Here is a fun little fact for you guys. Uh, when I take the photos of my stickers for my online shop, specifically the um, the photos where I'm like holding it like this, so you can see the size of the sticker compared to the size of the hand, um, I paint just just the one nail, the one nail that's showing, um, so that when I'm holding the sticker in the photo, it looks like I'm the kind of put together person that has their nails done all the time. Um, without actually having to do all of the nails. So, this is the color for this shoot. Anyway, here's me exposing myself. Alrighty, kids. I feel like that's a good place to end the vlog. Um, we're approaching autumn. Might as well end on a cold, drizzly, cozy, rainy, Hurricane Hillary kind of day. Um, yeah, fairy stickers are entering the shop September 2nd. So if it's past September 2nd, go ham, brothers and sisters in Christ. My next video is not going to be a studio vlog. Um, but rather an illustration process video. Very fun and exciting. So walking you through the whole process of making an illustration, uh, starting with the brainstorming sketches all the way through the end result, the final illustration. Um, that illustration is going to be inspired by the uh, lantern with the fireflies inside of it that you saw me sketching during the intro to this vlog. And this illustration is also a part of a larger endeavor that I am embarking on, uh, which you'll hear all about when you go and watch that studio, or not studio vlog, when you go and watch that, what am I calling it? Process video. Yeah, so if you don't feel like being left out, then get on it, sister. Go watch that video. Um, unless it's not posted yet, then I'm sorry for getting sassy with you. Anyway, um, that's the end of studio vlog number six. So 
If you liked this video, That's nice, me too, buddy. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, stay groovy, kiddos.